Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you. Amen. At this time, we're going to open up our devotional service. We're going to sing Higher Ground. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining. Need
bless your name today. We came to give you thanks today because God, you're good. You're good, you're good, you're good. You say, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in thee. For we walk by faith and not by sight in the name of Jesus Christ. For we're dependent upon you to see us through, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. For you would never leave us nor forsake us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your will be done today. Stir up the gifts in this place today. Lord God, take hold of the realms of the minds of your people, Lord God, that they will think on the things that are lovely, the things that are pure, the things that are honest, the things that have a good report in the name of Jesus Christ. For we ever give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to read in your hearing Psalm, 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 Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the northland pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust him. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou should not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the error that fly by day. And the word of the Lord is blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This time we're going to open up. Our worship at this in this afternoon, Amen. Hallelujah! How many want the glory of the Lord to rise among us on today? We need His glory. The Word says, "Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty." Hallelujah! We need His glory and we want His power. Hallelujah! Let the glory.
sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God judge ye but we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard as long as the government is not conflicting with God's word we ought to be obedient to him if the doctor say don't do this don't do it just because you're a child of God that don't give you a right to do anything you want to do the Bible tells us that we are to be subject to the government authority yes, it does. because they got their authority from God. That's right. God is the higher power yes. and he allowed them to get in position. So when we start rebelling against the government authority as long as they're not out of the will of God, then we're rebelling against God. Right. It was God that set up government. Well, so uh, 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 let us be obedient to the government long as it's not telling us to disobey God. That's right. and, and I think they All do right. have a government do. We, we say that we are a country that in God we trust. Well, well you know, that you have to take a second thought on that. But we know yes. <laughs> the people that know their God we're going to explore. We're going we're gonna to do great things. Yes. So don't worry. Hallelujah. Don't get the corona get you all nervous and when you can't think and all confused. That's right. Focus yes. upon him who created the hills. Yes. <laughs> Focus on him that healed all of our diseases. Yes. Amen. I think the praise scene going to come back with another praise song. And and we, we look, we gonna enjoy this. Let us lift up yeah, God. Let yeah, us praise yeah, our God. Yeah, yeah. God, let's, let me say this. God is in control. Right. Just remember that. That's right. Yeah, I know a lot of people are dying, but God is in control. Yeah. And he stands in the shadows, keeping watch over his own. Yeah. Well, Jesus, the great king. 
He reigns. Amen? Yes, he does. The song says, my God reigns. Yes. Our God reigns. Hallelujah. Above all of this, above all our circumstance, he reigns. Hallelujah. Do you believe that on today? Yes. Hallelujah. He reigns with power and authority. Hallelujah.
will not fear. I will not fear. He's my sheep. Hallelujah. He's my buckle. He's my shield. He's my high tower. The psalmist says, the psalmist says, Lighthouse, in days like these, in times like these, God give his angels charge over you, and he'll keep thee all thy ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's going to keep you. His eyes is upon you. He's watching over you. Hallelujah. Stay in God's will, saints. Stay in God's will. I don't care how bad it gets. I was listening a few minutes ago before I came out. And they says worldwide right now. Corona has taken over 200,000 worldwide already. Italy within 24 hours. It taken over 100 people within 24 hours. But the God of our salvation. We're going to believe God. We're going to believe God. Nobody else but It's because, Lighthouse, you have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thine habitation. There shall no evil befall you, befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. That's why we praise him. That's why we praise him. And not only are we praying just for Lighthouse, we're praying for this entire world, this entire world. We're praying that God would give our doctors. They went to college and they learned from the books. And they studied the human anatomy. But in all of that, they got to go to God to get some wisdom. They know how to handle this because they don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. They're saying it's possibly a year and a half before they can come up with an antidote to handle this. But we know our God. Doc, you do what you got to do, but we know our God. Even if Corona happened to step into my bedroom, Elder, <laughs> he can't get in there unless it's God let him in. He can't do me no harm unless it's God let him in. Shall not fear. Hallelujah. No mountain rise up against me. My heart shall not fear. See this. This is this is what God wants out of His people. God wants His people to lean and depend upon Him. David was in 
Daniel was going through some terrible times. Daniel was going through some tough times. And God gave Daniel word. And I'm giving Lighthouse the word that Daniel said. The word of God says, as such as do the wicked against the covenant, shall he corrupt by flattery. Hallelujah. I don't know. They saying that this is a man-made thing. They don't know. Right. I don't know. Amen. But I know one thing. Right. God knows. Yeah. God knows. Yeah. I know that much. Yeah. And if he, if he allowed men to do it, yeah. <laughs> if men did it, God allowed them to do it. Yeah. Because our God is omnipotent. Yeah. He's I'm not sin, he's I'm not present, he knows everything. So if he let Corona come in, he stood back and let it come back. But he's still in charge. He still reigns. He says, Daniel said, but the people <laughs> that know their God. That house, you ought to know your God today. The people that know that God shall be strong and do explore. They, they're going to conquer. They're going to come out winners. The Lord knows them that trust in Him. And He will not make you ashamed. God, God allows certain things to happen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To wake us. Yeah. Shake us. Yeah. Yeah. We get at, at ease in Zion sometimes. Yeah. And God has to come along and shake us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. so, you got some stuff that you need to get rid of. Well, yeah. Corona get you. God use all kind of methods to get our attention. Get our attention. And you know, that's what's so good. That's why I like about God. That's why I love about him. He just don't come in and start tearing your house up. He send you a warning first. <laughs> Corona is a warning. Brother Donnell, it's a warning. It's a warning. It's a precursor to that which is to come. No, this ain't the end of it. This ain't. This ain't. This is not the end of the world yet. Hallelujah. It's not the end of the world yet. Hallelujah. But today, Jesus says, when you see these things coming, look up your redemption draweth now. This world is trouble. Yes, yes, yes. Not the United States. The entire world. I, I just want to talk just a little bit glory, glory. to encourage the saints hard and we're going to get out of here because it's, what time is it? We're going we gonna, to we gonna get out of here because we want to be obedient. Our governor said 5 o'clock. It goes, the curfew goes in place. I told you all, we have to be subject to civil authority. That's yes. right, that's right, yes. Pastor. If anybody be subject to the civil authority. It ought to be the peoples of God. Amen. It ought to be the peoples of God. If you rebellion against civil authority when they're doing and saying what's best for humanity, I wonder who's your God? Amen. God is a God of order. God has a way that will shield us. When the deaf angel came into Egypt, it came in, but God has prepared his people. God called the blood to be up over the doorpost. That was a covering. And everybody in the, within that building was covered. When that deaf angel come, came in at midnight, 
Lord have mercy. Our president said, we got an invisible enemy. That's what the president said. We got an invisible enemy. Death angel came in Egypt with an invisible enemy. Walked in the streets of Egypt. Saw that blood up over that boat, boat pass it up. Kept on going. Every door that didn't have the blood, you heard a cry went out. You heard a cry went out. But I'm here to tell you, you can get under the blood today. Wherever you're, we don't have to kill no lamb. All you got to do is tell God, I'm sorry for the sin that I've been committed. I want to go down in Jesus' name. He's the lamb of God that come to take away the sins of the world. You repent of your sin. Commit to God that I want to make a change in my life. And, and I know what the government said about not having church. But if you want to be baptized in Jesus' name, we'll get two people to come down here and baptize you in Jesus' name right here at my house. Then you'll be under the blood. Then you can seek him for the Holy Ghost. And then you can say, <laughs> Lord, thank you for the blood. Thank you for covering me. I'm not worried anymore about Corona. I'm not worried anymore about dying. Hallelujah. Good God Almighty. You can come whenever you want to. You can reach us. Call us. Call us. You that are watching Facebook and, and, and YouTube this week. You can get the number. Call us. And we will make it our business to baptize you in the midst of Corona virus. We'll come down and baptize you in Jesus' name and work with you to God fill you with the tongue talking Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You need to be covered on the blood. Then you can say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Amen. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm through. I'm through.